Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes, brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini. And for you contractors out there, they are going to be having an open house, a holiday lighting open house. It's a free event on Tuesday, October the 5th at between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. at 164 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. So uh, if you want to make this part of your business uh, one day, well, head out there for the open house. Uh, telephone number to RSVP is 631-957-5106, or you can go to the website liholidaylighting.com. And Omni True Value Hardware getting ready for winter time now. So it's all about salt and salt prices, and they will have the best prices in town. They're at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So we've had this cold front that's moved along and it's stalling out uh, right near the coast to the south, off the southeast coast. We have low pressure developing. Uh, it is still somewhat poorly organized, but we can see a little bit of a broad circulation here. And we'll watch today to see if that tightens up and becomes uh, eventually a tropical depression or even a tropical storm. But it should be noted that because this stationary front is stalled out right along the immediate coast, rather than further inland, uh, the uh, pathway for this is to, to go north and then northeast and head out uh, to the south and east of us. So uh, it should not produce any problems other than maybe eventually roughing up the surf a little bit. And in the meantime, uh, we're going to just deal with a lot of clouds, which are going to be sticking around for a while, but eventually uh, they will get out of the way, especially by the time we get to the weekend as all of this pushes out to the east. We had some showers and thunderstorms overnight. Uh, they have uh, now pretty much moved offshore. Uh, we still could see some residual leftover showers today. You could see off the coast some showers and some thunderstorms and then uh, the arc of the echoes off the North Carolina coast uh, in that kind of circular turn there that's going counterclockwise is telling us that we do have a broad low center. As far as rainfall is concerned over the next seven days, not that much. Uh, generally a tenth to a quarter of an inch with a few pockets of heavier precip for eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. The Gulf Coast still getting uh, residual rains from Nicholas on the order of several inches or more. And also notice the moisture that is off the East Coast, that is with the low offshore. And if WPC thought this was going to be a problem, you'd see much heavier precip being indicated along the coast. So their idea also is that this system will shift away to the North and East. We don't have severe weather issues today in the Northeast or Mid-Atlantic states, or even all the way down uh, to, the, to Florida and back to Louisiana. Uh, the uh, risk area today is up in parts of Minnesota, uh, down into Nebraska, and there's tornado risk there of 2 to 5%. But I think we're going to be done with dealing with severe weather for uh, at least a little while. So looking at the pattern overall, again, this stalled front is going to be sitting on top of us. Uh, the low develops, uh, looks like it'll pass about 100 or so miles east of the North Carolina coast. Uh, it might bring some rain Friday morning to southern New Jersey, southernmost New Jersey, down into the Delmarva Peninsula. And then once that low starts to pull away, that high that you see up in Wisconsin, that's drier air that comes in uh, for the weekend. So the weekend, I, to me, is looking very good. The minor issue might be Saturday morning along the immediate coast. There could be some leftover clouds, but that should gradually give way to sunshine and then as we move on to Sunday it's high pressure going up into eastern Canada and settling there into New England so we should have nice weather into Monday and even pushing it into Tuesday before the next cold front comes in on Wednesday and as far as temperatures are concerned we're looking at mostly in the 70s today and for tomorrow uh, and then Saturday we should be in the upper 70s and low 80s and more of the same on Sunday. The humidity is going to come down a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be oppressive, but it's not going to get super dry either. But I think it'll be reasonable uh, as we head over, head through the weekend. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. 
and also uh, Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist me meeting all your decorating needs. Remember, they're open house for contractors only, Tuesday, October the 5th, uh, between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., and they are at 162 and 164 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106 is the phone number. The website is liholidaylighting.com. Just to look at the tropics, by the way, with regards to the system out in the Atlantic, a 70% chance that this could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm, and a 70 to 80% chance in the two to five day period for a system that's well out into the Atlantic, in, in the tropical Atlantic, about halfway across, still thinking that this could form into a tropical depression. We have another wave that's coming off the African coast now, uh, no imminent signs of development there. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.30. If you didn't see last night's show or you missed the SpaceX launch, we covered it live. Uh, so you might want to take a look at last night's uh, video, which is on my, on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee. Otherwise, we will see you tonight.